Hello there guys, welcome back to Unis Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video. <sighs> this football club, man. This club is special Here for all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong reasons. Um, first and foremost, I want to say apologies, as you were, as you may know, if you did see the update, um, there was no watch along today. Rightfully so, because I think I would have lost it, and um, I've had to take a moment to really just calm down and 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 just you know. I have to be honest. Um, am I surprised? No, no. You see, this is the thing. We're turning in circles, people. We're turning in circles. We keep turning in circles. I said it yesterday on the preview. And I'll stick to it now. And I will always say this. Yesterday, I did put out, if we don't win, the United result is void. People that are going to actually talk about a European spot. Uh, why? Why? What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? We've got nothing to show within this team that's serious. And when I mean serious, I mean serious. A level of seriousness that you need to go and compete in a European competition. Hell, even in, even in the Conference League, you can't get away with this. So what's the point? We ain't got it. Might as well not go. Might as well not go. We got bigger problems to worry about. Forget European football. We're going to chase sixth. We ain't chasing anything. And you know what's mad? On the day where there was an actual chance to capitalise, yeah? Nah, not Chelsea. We go 1-0 up. Yeah, no problem. We'll throw it away. Oh, we go 2-1 up. Cool, no problem. We'll throw it away. How many times are we saying this? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you know the rest. If you don't, shame on me. I ain't getting fooled again. And I said this before, which is why I wanted to keep hammering down to the ones that were telling me, and I understand it, to the ones that were telling me, now, Eunice, you've got to stop now. You've got to be a bit more positive. I get it. I get it. I actually do get it. And believe me, believe me when I say this. I mean this. And it's, I don't want to sing my own praises, but to anyone that's managed to do it as well and to anyone that's growing, it's not easy, for example, to get a channel like this to the level that it's gotten to. It's not. The, the, the work and the dedication and the time that it takes, I, I, I get it. I get it. And it's not just that. In all walks, all walks of life, all sorts of, of, of professions, everything that you do, in, you need consistency, you need work, you need time, you need sacrifice, you need all of that. I get it. I get it. So when people are, you know, hammering down like, no, you've got to be a little bit, be, be, be a bit more positive. Be a bit more optimistic, right? Trust me, in all aspects of my life, I am. And if you know me personally, I am. And you know that, right? I get told a lot that I smile a lot, right? I get told that I'm the guy that, uh, you know, if, if you want a vibe, yeah, no, go to Eunice because it's, it's, it's a vibe, right? And I, I, I genuinely mean that. And I do sometimes do that intentionally to bring that sort of energy because it does help. I get it. But when something is in my control, I do that. When something is out of my control, I'm just real. I just say it as it is. No holds barred. I come in like a steel cage match, right? Anything goes. Hell in a cell. Do what you want. Bring out any weapon. Go crazy. Because it's not in my control. I react to what I see. And I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm going to say it as it is. And I would advise that if you do that, in a good manner in your life, you will get to good places because you will be surrounded around authentic and genuine people. That's the most important thing. So that's a piece of advice. So I say it as it is. We ain't getting European football. Forget it. Forget it. Like this. Forget it. Sheffield United. Sheffield United. People. Sheffield United. We just bottled it to Burnley, sitting in 19th. We come today and we bottle it to Sheffield United, sitting bottom. Are we serious? Are we serious? 
And we, we look, today is the day we're firing shots everywhere, yeah? Like I said, head in a cell, still cage match, no holds barred, uh, no, no, there's no rules, do what you want. We're going old school ECW here, bring out the barbed wire, bring out, bring out everything, yeah? It's going to be a bloody mess. All guns blazing on this one. There are players in this squad that are not good enough. Need to get rid. Pochettino, I'm sorry. Nah, bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Goodbye. Those substitutions in and of itself explained everything. I don't need to know anymore. I don't need to see anything else. <laughs> Bye. The ones upstairs allowing all this to go down? Mate, see you later. Bye. Directors, you failed. Bye. Owners, listen. I know that there's a lot of people that think the same as me, as a few others, that are calling for the owner's heads, right? Like, this is on you. You're responsible here. But you think, and I get it, oh, but they're not going anywhere. They're tied down. They're staying here, so we might as well just get on with it. I get that. I want to ask, do you genuinely believe that's the case? Now, I'm not going to say I've got complete evidence here, but I'd like to ask and flip it on you. Do you have evidence? that we're actually tied down to these owners for the duration of the time that we are apparently tied down to them for. Tell me, just, I'm going to ask a question on a business level, yeah? You, if you had a business, would you tie yourself down without giving yourself the option to get out if something mad happened? Would you risk that? Would you purposely, legally tie yourself down for 10 years to something that, who knows, maybe in three, four years, I want out. This isn't working for me. I, I want to sell. I want to I want to leave. I want to go. Come on. Come on. I am pretty sure they have a way out. I'll say they might not be able to take any money, right? And that might be the reason why we are believed that they, they're tied down is because, yeah, if they were to go, they can't take any profits for, uh, uh, out of Chelsea Football Club. They can't. They're going to have to leave with basically what they brought in. They basically leave with <laughs> zero profit. But they, they, there is a way for them to go. There is. There is. So this notion that we can't put pressure on the ownership, for me, is, is, is completely wrong as far as I'm concerned. It's the wrong thing to do. There has to be pressure applied on these owners. They need to wake up. They need to start doing things correctly. I mean, the fact that we're actually even talking about the possibility of not having even entertained another manager at this time whilst we are witnessing this season the way that it's going is crazy. It's crazy. And like I've said before, I believe Poch is a, li a little bit hand handicapped. There is issues there. Like I've said, I believe that there are players in this squad that are not at the level. They're just not. They're just not. They're just not. But at the same time, yeah, Poch has, has, has clearly shown that he is not going to be the one to take anyone forward. He is not. First port of call that needs to change has to be the manager. The second one has to be the directors. Get these clowns out. Replace them with someone competent, please. One, not two, one. And then when it comes to the summer, we can start talking about the squad and we can start talking about the players. That's going to come in the summer. Transfer window is needed for that. But this is a joke. This is a joke. Today was pff, horrific. Horrific. The fact that Poch has actually stuck Palmer up top as a false nine, whilst we know already from this season, if you play him up top and you remove him from the game, he is incompetent. Not incompetent. He's, he's not in the game. He's not a part. You're removing any sort of good that he can bring, which, by the way, is the only good happening at this football club. Palmer is the only one that we can turn to when we're in need. And you stick him in a position where he's going to be most likely out of the game. Lo and behold, that's what happened. Even then, for the second goal, he provided the assist. Because the action was going on all in and around the box. We take him off. <laughs> so, 
Whilst we were moving with Parma and Inshallah as the tactic, we move, remove the Parma and we stick with only Inshallah. Inshallah, we'll get the win. What about Parma? Now nah, forget that. We don't need them anymore. What? And then you take off Madueke. <laughs> he scores the second goal. Nah, take him off too. Take him off too. Lo and behold, we concede. 90 second minute. And, and, can I just say, the fact that we were getting pressed, we were getting, pressure was being applied on a mad level, we were getting bypassed, we were getting passes splitting us completely, we were getting, we were conceding chances, we were doing all sorts against Sheffield United sitting bottom of the league. We made them look fantastic today. We made them look brilliant. We were getting done. We were getting twisted. Sheffield United were the better team. It's mad that I can even say that. Sheffield United were the better team. What is it about this club that we have in this team where we come up against these clubs that are not big clubs within the Premier League and we can't play against them? We come up against, look, the Man United game, right? And we saw it today, yeah. They nabbed a draw against Liverpool, but my goodness, they were dreadful. I think it explains, yeah? We come up against levels, we'll get done. Simple as that. Levels, we'll get done. And I think, I think, personally, the big teams have a little bit of respect for us. They come up against us and in the back of their heads, they go, nah, you know what? This is still Chelsea, guys. It's Chelsea, relax. Whereas these little teams, so-called little teams, the ones that are bottom of the table, the ones that are fighting relegation, they're coming up, 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 coming up against us going, hey, we know we're rubbish, but we know you're rubbish. We're coming to take your party away because we can beat you. No respect. And that's the way to beat us. Don't show us respect. Yeah, you'll take it. See you later. Then the lack of quality that they have is what stops them from getting the win. Although today they really could have won. Sheffield United really could have won today. Unbelievable. 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 It's just... Uh... This has completely voided the United game. Completely voided the United game. Completely voided. And I'm go like, like I said in the preview... If this was to happen, and it has happened, I want a public apology from Chelsea Football Club to Cole Palmer. Go and apologise to Palmer. Say sorry to him. And like I said, some look, we've addressed Poch. Pff, done. Bye. See you later. Not it. Absolutely not it. Absolutely not it. The owners, the directors, we've been there and done that. These players, some of these players... I can't pick out everybody because it's just, it's, we're going to be here for an hour. The fact we're relying on a Kukure at left back, sleeping, doesn't know what's going on behind him, doesn't know what's going on alongside him. Hence, we, we, we concede that first goal. Caicedo, I'm sorry. Yeah, so some people are afraid to say this. I'm not going to be afraid to say this. On the ball, can look decent. Off the ball, Horrific. And people that are going to try and say, no, nah, but we're trying to use him in the way that we used Kante. I'm sorry. Kante could tackle. Kante could stop players getting past him. Kante could do some of the dirty work. Kante could get stuck in in that way. Sorry, but players are running past Caicedo for fun. Not making him for fun. Jogging past him, around him for fun. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. 100 million, 100, 115 million, 115 million. It's crazy because I'll be honest, I didn't, see, I didn't see this happening. But maybe, maybe, maybe Caicedo is a system player. Maybe Caicedo fits one way only and that's it. You have to stick him with some certain personnel there. If not, he cannot operate. And I'm sorry, for 115 million, that's unforgivable. It can't happen. And that's not his fault. Again, if we're relying on data... You'd think these things would be looked at. We don't have access to this sort of so-called data that the club are looking at. And I've got to be honest, we as fans, we get hyped up when we see the numbers. We get hyped up. I certainly did. I got hyped up when I saw the numbers. I thought, oh, yeah, no, I'm ripping Caicedo coming in. Not just him, all the players that we were getting in the summer. It was like dopamine getting him. We, we were dopamine addicts. Let's be honest. We're dopamine addicts. Many people still are. Constantly getting hit, constantly getting hit. Oh my God, we are going to blitz this, unbelievable. And then when it crashes, boom, depression. It's just, it's crazy, it's absolutely insane. And now we're seeing what we're seeing. It's just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. 
the whole thing. People are going to blame, blame Petrovic. There were instances in that game where he pulled off some worldies. I would say for the first goal, you could argue he wasn't well placed. But I do also want to say, when Kukurea and that defence allowed him to get past in the way that they allowed him to get through, right? When Chalaba and Kukurea allowed that ball to get split right through the middle in between them, but Kukurea wasn't picking up on his man because he was half asleep... That was the mistake that should have been prevented. Because when you look at the placement of Petrovic, yes, you could argue he was, near his, he was near his near post, right? He was close to his near post. But when you look at his position, he was in a position to try and stop the ball coming across the box if the pass was going to be made, which would have been the more likely option. I thought the ball was going to be put across. Instead, he goes for the shot from a very tight angle. And I didn't expect that. You could argue Petrovic needs to sense these things, I understand, but... He's not going to save everything. I'm not going to pin everything on Petrovic. Is he a proper number one goalkeeper to go forward? Hard to even tell at the moment because this is what we're doing. We're experimenting. And the fact that we're experimenting with these players at this age is crazy. We're relying on these players as our number ones. When they're not number ones, they're nowhere near. It goes back to the same point. We've not got levels in this team. We've not. So when you get the odd freak result or you get the odd, the odd game where, you know, we nick it like we did against United, all of a sudden everyone's going crazy, but it doesn't have any sense of the reality or the situation. Today does, Burnley did, and so, and so on and so forth. There's been countless, 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 countless games this season and over the last two years that have shown us we're going flipping nowhere. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Incredible. I've got nothing else to say. I've got nothing else to say. Um, Sheffield United, flipping hell, man. Bottom of the league. Bottom of the league. It's a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. Uh, for me, the season's finished. Done. Done. What, we're going to be Arsenal? Oh, they're a big team. We're going to be Arsenal. Oh, uh, we got Tottenham are coming to the bridge. We're going to do them over. Why? Because we're Chelsea. This ain't Chelsea. <laughs> this ain't, this is not Chelsea, man. Come on. Come on. Those levels are gone. Those levels are so far gone. It's crazy. And it's so evident to see. The way that we play is the same. Week in, week out. Game in, game out. Game in, game out. And then we get that freak lucky result like we did against United. Things just happened miraculously. We'll take it. Great. Thank you very much. But it's the same. We, we concede, we, we start off, we, we look like we start off bright, we get that first goal, cool, fantastic, we fall off, everything stops, everything stops, everything stops, right? We crash, we concede, we go into half time, nothing happens, in fact, no, sorry, something does happen, we get worse, we get worse, I don't know what happens at half time, and we've said this time and time again this season, which just shows it's a problem, it's a big problem. These things are constantly happening and some people are just oblivious and they're just ignoring it. Just blue pill, blue pilling themselves. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Come on, man. Face the music. Wake up. Smell the coffee. This, this is constantly happening. Second half, we come out, we look like a League 3 team. League 3 doesn't even exist. But we look like a League 3 team. A League 2 team would have come out like that. And then one moment, boom, get the goal, fantastic. What happens? You just knew we're going to concede. We're going to concede. Because look at the way it's all going. Look at the way we're playing. It's just, it's, you want to talk about unsustainable. The way we are moving is unsustainable. What we're doing is unsustainable. That's unsustainable. So-called chasing a sustainable mod model. We are, we, are, we, are, we are going after an unsustainable model the way that we're moving right now. It's insane. It's insane got nothing in this team that can hold on to anything incredible Chelsea have fallen off so hard it's crazy it's crazy and it, it it does my mind in it does me in man because it's so sad it's so sad it's so sad to see the club like this and it's not even a case of the players don't care it's not that the players just don't have it this team doesn't have it this management doesn't have it this board doesn't have it we ain't got it that's what's scary, because if it was a case of people just not caring, well, you know, make a couple of changes here and there, and all of a sudden, things are motivated, things flare up. It's not that. We're just not good anymore. Sad. And after having spent that much money, it's unforgivable. 
Let me know your thoughts down below. Much appreciated. I will catch all of you tomorrow for a brand new one. Um, I'm going to forget Chelsea for the rest of the night. And uh, I'm going to go and watch WrestleMania. Peace.